seen him quite at full well, strength. We're in Philly's head. We're in Philly's head. Right. But like we, we ever since the playoff series, like I think we beat them four one. That series. Yeah. We're in their head. Like I don't even like, think they'll beat Toronto. No, absolutely not. They match up well, but they do. Gonna, they, they're not going to beat them because after Toronto added Marcus All, you're like, dang, they really did beef their roster just to. And with the way Siakam's playing? Yeah, Siakam. You got Serge Ibaka off the bench and stuff right, like that. Right, But going back to this Bucks and Pistons series, I hate every player, every person, every organization person for Miami Heat except for Dwayne Wade. You literally have a chance for Dwayne Wade to solidify his career in the playoffs. Regardless if they would win or not, they're a better matchup than the Detroit Pistons. And they had capable talent on that roster. Oh, I, Winslow, Dragic, Whiteside. You're paying Whiteside $100 million, you can't make a, a playoffs? Come on. Look how weak the East is. You're playing <sighs> Cleveland, the Wizards, the Knicks. I am I am so fed up with that Miami Heat franchise. That's so unfair. Like, yeah, that is. good for Detroit. But nobody wants to watch Detroit. Nobody. Nobody wants to watch. They're not the bad boys. They're not the Rip. Rip Hamilton's not coming through that door. Chauncey Billups not coming through that door. Well, uh, Miami could have won a game at home. They yes. could have won a game. It could have been a series. It could have been a fun and thrilling sure. series. Sure, Something fun because regardless, you know, I know Giannis is 6'11", but you ain't going to just bang on Hassan Whiteside. Right. And if he does, memes for days. Right. Memes for days. No one cares about And him. that's another big advantage for the Celtics is while Indiana won't win the series – they can play some defense. Yeah. And Boston, you know, they'll, they'll have been tested heading into that series. Milwaukee's not. Yeah, it's a, it's, a very I mean, def- it's a very defensive game. Like, we both play defense uh, so regarding the Pacers and the Celtics. We both play defense. With Milwaukee, I feel their problem will be like, all right, we just destroy Detroit. Right. We're hot. We're ready. Let's go. And they're not going to be ready for an actual defensive team that can actually score on them. Last year, that series between Milwaukee and Boston won all seven games. The home team won each game. So that is the one thing Milwaukee does have going for them is that they are the one seed, but they didn't have to face Kyrie last year. They didn't have to face Gordon Hayward last year. Correct. Uh, the thing about that series, like once once I saw that series, and then once people after the season was over and everything, it was like, all right, so what team are you – you guys are the favorite. I was like, we might be the favorite. But I am so worried about the Bucks because mm-hmm. it's like the way they played. I was like, and once they added, once they added Brook Lopez, I was like, that's a wrap. Like that, that's a big that they need. And he's Miritich could pick up too. Like that a lot if he can stay healthy. Yeah. And then you have Pal Gasol if he can stay healthy. Health is definitely a reason for that. And then right. they bring in Michael Brogdon who's been injured. Right. So the thing with them, I think they have the same problem as we do. A lot of good players. How can you find these correct minutes to throw in these plays? And just one ball. And one, one basketball. Ball. One got basketball. Him. Yeah. You know, it's kind of tough. So, yeah, it'll be a fun series. I, I, You know, I'm, I'm hoping for the Celtics just to come out strong. Marcus Smart is a huge blow to us. But I feel like Jalen Brown, but it's, it's going to be committee. It's definitely going to be a committee to stop Giannis. Sure. All day. But as far as everybody else, I think Terry Rozier is going to come back being scary Terry because – Eric Drew Bledsoe. Right. I'm sorry, Drew Bledsoe <laughs> is coming, man. Uh, I think also, uh, you know, even though that the Bucks have bigs, they ain't got no switch bigs where Mar- it opens up Marcus Morris, it opens up Gordon Hayward because you really don't even see him in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's a lot. It's going to be a very interesting series. Flip flop now to the West, and you've had some interesting storylines. Everybody ever. The Warriors been dominating the headlines. I, I, before you start that, everybody, I called some of these games. I said the Nets was going to win one. I also said Orlando Magic. The was Magic win. was a pull. I'm I'm looking at this matchup, and I haven't watched much Magic all year. <laughs> and I'm like, Stefan, how the hell, how in the world is Orlando a seven? Are they even going to win a game? He's like, PJ, not only are they going to win a game, they're going to win two. Called it. I'm like, Stefan, you crazy. It's just they match up well. Like if you look at matchups, the Orlando Magic's they're long, and the uh, who's their coach? Uh, uh, Clifford. Um, Clifford. He from good I've coach. Been, I've been watching him since Charlotte, yeah. Charlotte days, and he's a very defensive minded coach who hold his players accountable. And since they're so long and and that defense defensive mindset, and then on top of that, they match up with the center with Vucevic and then Marcus Sola. Like the only player that's really going to cook them is probably Kawhi Leonard, which. Theoretically, he had 35 the other night. That's it. 
Right. Other than that, and then also I listen to Danny Green's podcast. You should listen to it. It's hilarious. <laughs> um, where he's talking about, yeah, we, we really don't match up well with Orlando. The only the only problem with Orlando is their only bench is Terrence Ross. Right. That's you, literally it. Not enough off not enough guys that can get you a bucket. You need yeah, that not enough playoffs. guys. And if they would have had Mo Bama, it would have been a little bit more interesting. Sure. Yeah, you know. Sure. So I mean they are missing a couple key guys. Um, so heading back to the West, West Coast Warriors obviously blowing that thirty-one point lead, and everybody talking about KD, Pat Bev in his head. KD comes back last night, shows everybody that he's KD. Warriors ho hum, win by twenty plus. But that does get KD. If you remember a couple of years ago when Kevin Durant was in OKC, right, and they played the Memphis Grizzly in like I think the first round. Yes, this is back when they had like Tony Allen, Reggie Jackson bailed them out in that series. Yes, he that did. was a series. That was a series. Uh, the thing that that that's a problem with KD is defensive short guards. Tony Allen strapped him up where he didn't score for three quarters or something like that. Very true. So like, I mean, it's the same. It's the same mindset. Yep. At the same time, Kevin Durant, from there being not that strong, five years later, six years later, two times MV, yeah, Finals MVP. Of course, he's going to. He's like, this really does not bother me. It, it bothers me. For maybe a good two quarters, yeah, and then come, first coming out to the series. But then once I start figuring out a way how y'all really plan me, where there's no help, I'm just gonna shoot over top of it. Do you agree with Doc's decision to put Beverly on Durant and not Curry? Because to me, Durant's gonna get his. Curry will get his too. But watching what Della Vadova did to him a couple years ago, at least you can make Steph work with his size. Steph's the guy on the Warriors that makes him go. When he brings the ball across half court and he's pulling from 35 and he's knocking him down, that's what sparks them. KD, if he gets his 30, he gets his 30. But I feel like Beverly just, you know, I mean, you put him on KD, he can shoot over him every time. They got to help over, and that just creates much more problems defensively. Beverly, Beverly, uh, Doc said it himself, Beverly can't guard Curry. Curry is way too quick for Beverly. Right. Uh, and on top of it, with uh, Della Vadova, he had girth where, like, Curry was just bumping into his body. You know, Beverly's probably, like, the same type of size frame as Curry. He he really can't check Curry. Right. right? It's already been said. You can't check Curry. You got uh, uh, Delo Gallinari, who is – I'm sorry. He's a scrub, man, for the Clippers. I, I just feel so bad for the Clippers because he's he's supposed to be that guy that just be putting, need to be putting up 25 points along he's with Lou Williams. He's so slow. And, you know, like, dude, you, you are – Terrible, man. Because you can't put him on Kevin Durant. No, you can't. You can't put him on Kevin Durant. You can't. Like, so, like, Beverly is literally your only best bet. Right. So it's, it's, Cooper's got some nice young players, though. Oh. The, I like Gilgis. And Shamit. They, they're starting two yeah, rookies. they are. They're starting two rookies. They sure are. And people are not really talking about that. This is a big season for the Clippers. For the simple fact is they have the uh, a, a great amount of cap space. I don't know how much the money is, but they have a great amount of cap space to sign any type of free agent who sees that as like, man, y'all beat the Warriors, came back, y'all also have a nice squad, great coach, great ownership, you're in L.A., Kawhi Leonard. You look at the other series now. You got Spurs are up 2-1 on Denver. You got uh, the Rockets are up 2-0 on Utah, and the Blazers are up 2-0 on the Thunder. Mm-hmm. Of those three series, the, of the teams who are currently trailing, which one do you think has the best chance of coming back to win the series? Hmm. Best chance? Because I, I know talking with you off podcast, you think all the teams currently winning those series are going to win. win. Yeah, they're gonna but win. of the ones who are currently losing, who do you give the best chance to? I guess the Nuggets. You know, you are the number two seed. So but... you don't think you think Portland's beating OKC? Well, I saw so so when I was you know I watch NBA games almost like sure. every game I watch highlights sure so last couple maybe like three maybe the month of, uh, of the season regular season I start figuring out OKC like they're a great team but they can't shoot they can't how about this they can't name their best uh, three point shooter Paul George easy all right so who's the second Markeith Morris who they just got. Markeith Morris is their second best three. Not Terrence Ferguson. Right. Markeith Morris. Yeah, Schroeder's not really a shooter. No. You know what Russell give you. Yeah, they, they can't shoot. It's very true. And if you can't shoot in this league, in today's league, and then on top of that, Paul George is like maybe running at 75%. Right. But a messed up shoulder. I don't see them coming back at 
all from this. Great point. At all. Tonight is a big game for the Blazers because we always talk about what an impressive job Dame and CJ do navigating the regular season. Not to mention Terry Stotts. Terry Stotts, too. Great coach. Underrated coach. And they just can't get over that playoff hump. Everybody tonight's expecting OKC to win. They're down 2 0. It's a must win. They're at home. I really want to see Portland win this game. This is the year because of how the bracket sets up for them. They either are going to face the Warriors or the Rockets. They want to have to face both. They want to face both. That the draw is really favorable for them to get to the Western Conference Finals, especially looking like the Spurs might beat the Nuggets. This this has to be the year for Portland. I don't think they're going to beat Golden State or Houston, but they definitely can get to a conference final. Yeah, yeah, they they definitely can. Um, although. Theoretically, like I said, the Nuggets have a chance. Right. If they play the Nuggets, the Nuggets gives them fits. Like, they can't, without Nurk, right. now you got Cantor, <laughs> you really don't have no one guarding Joker. And then on top of that, they have just as many guards as uh, as Portland. And they're just going to come back at you with players. The thing with the Nuggets, they got a lot of players where they can just throw at you. You can't really throw a lot of players at the Spurs because regardless who's in front, they're going to play their game. They're going to slow the pace down. You're going to play their game regardless. Right. So there, if the Nuggets beat the Spurs, which it's not going to happen, ladies and gentlemen, um, <laughs> that that can give Portland some fits. But, yeah, they're right. Yeah, Portland can actually make it to the conference finals. I mean, it would be very interesting because if if Portland can really get out the gates, right? beat OKC, just I say beat OKC in five, five or six, and move on to the next round. Of course, whoever they play, Spurs, that's going to be a dog fight, regardless. Maybe six or seven games. But Golden State and the uh, uh, the Warriors and the uh, Rockets, that's going to feel like a finals. And I I'm I hate the wish injury, but I I feel like a couple you know some, some players are going to get injured through that series because it's going to be so physical. It's going to be it's, it's going to be a lot of running. It's going to be a lot of shooting threes. And after you're done, you got to go somewhere else to play. You're drained. You're tired. For Portland to take control of that, they have to win the first three off back. Right. They have to win the first three off back, no matter what. Win the first three. Yes. Bring it back home in it. I can't wait for that, that. That's their chance to get to the NBA Finals. I can't wait for the Houston Golden State Series. Oh, my gosh. Everybody can't wait. It's, I'm sorry. I hate to say it for Utah, man, but. You just, know, just not enough firepower, you know. It, no, you're you're relying you're relying a lot on Donovan Mitchell. We can't forget he is only a second year player. Right. He's only a second year player. If, if they can get another star to go along with him, yeah, I think they will. Then you're up to something. You know, Joe Ingles' contract is coming up. Uh, you know, they re-signed Derek. They got to get a like a, a a small forward that can shoot. Right. But it's also, you know, it's, it's like a franchise small for it. It would be interesting what they get. As we wrap up the NBA talk, Fon, as of right now, your NBA Finals is what? As of today. As of today. As of this moment in time right now. Right now, I like I like, I like, like the way Houston's playing. Portland's my West Coast team, if you did not know. Uh, I'm going to go with Houston. I hate the. I don't want to go against my boys. I'm not gonna go go against my boys. Houston Celtics. All right, I like so, it. I like it. He's Celtics. Yeah. I would have to go. I think Celtics too. I think Warriors Celtics would be. Warriors Celtics. I, I know that Houston Warriors match will be good. We're here in the nation's capital. Well, right outside our Bethesda. Bethesda. They call it the. Uh, what is it called? The DC Bethesda. Yeah. Bethesda. Um, <laughs> Caps lost again last night, and the loss probably wasn't even the worst part of it. It was the loss of TJ Oshie. TJ Oshie, man. That to, to lose not only to lose them but to lose them with five minutes left in the game. Do you think that was a dirty hit? I do, I do. I, I, when I looked at it live, and I saw the replay, it looked like a tap. I hate to say it, it, it looked like a tap. Like he just. I can see where you're coming from. I don't know the force. I don't know the force. Uh, of Oshi isn't the kind of guy that would flop. That's how I knew it was serious. Right. Yeah. And just the fact that it was unexpected, um, but. We got a series now, 2-2. Okay. Obviously, in a 2-2 series, Game 5, always huge. Yeah. Ain't it amazing like now, in, 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 in both playoffs, NHL and NBA, like 
you you think the like all oh, this is gonna be done in four or five? And right. A lot of these teams ain't playing, and no. a lot of these teams are upsetting other teams like Tampa Bay and uh, the uh, the Blue Jays.